guys and we are back outside again on this friday morning the time is 10 35 something like that um we are about to go test out this app called axle hire guys i haven't heard too many bad i mean let me say this too many good reviews about it but we're gonna go ahead and test it out um good thing is i used to work at this warehouse so i know where the package is at but i don't know what, what the procedures is to go uh, pick up for like roadie and axle hire because roadie does have a lot of trips coming out of here but they be straight up trash i'm talking about 10 stops 30 dollars 20 miles straight up trash so let me go ahead up in here i'm gonna just walk up in here too knowing that i don't supposed to but it is what it is from when i used to work here but nobody's at the front so hello fresh got that money people uh so i gotta go so this is the warehouse that I used to do business out of with them, um, with HelloFresh. Th that was the warehouse that they bought. They got a whole nother warehouse on the same damn block that does Axle for Hire. <laughs> so they got drivers driving for them. They also got Roadie. Uh, so he told me Roadie, they do strictly Roadie in that bit, uh, that building and the building after this one does Axel. He say Axel for hire. I thought it was Axel hire, but whatever. So, um, now I have to go to this next building and, and you know, the crazy thing is they don't, the app don't tell you the details. Like if I didn't know, you know, who to speak to in there. And I would have been in some trouble. I'm still in some trouble right now because I don't, I truly don't know the process. So now I'm basically just um, on search mode right now. So uh, I think I got to 11 o'clock to pick this crap up too. So yeah, ain't no stressing though. I ain't stress. Oh, I see, it. I see him, I see him. So I guess it's the process right here. The same thing I seen on YouTube. Uh, I guess I'm gonna park and ask questions. So uh, he said Axel for Hire pays way more than Rody, which which I do see. I already seen that. Um, so let me go ahead and get this route and catch out right. a second. I right, hit an order right here, and then the the guy with the forklift he brings it to you. Um, it said it was supposed to go to Morningside for Washington. Oh, this is Upper Marlboro, so. I mean, I'm cool with it as long as it ain't going to Virginia, but, you know, get that right together. Get that together, Axel. All right, this is what we looking like right here. 17 packages. I think it said it was paying $64 plus the $15 bonus. Seventeen boxes in the back, guys. These are the full-size HelloFresh packages, and we got three extra large hello fresh packages in the back so we probably could have fit about four more up in here when i was on the app before i took the route it did say with the ticket i guess you got to put a ticket in or whatever it said it could be between 17 to 40 packages so you don't know until you actually scan your first box how many packages you gonna get or until the forklift driver bring the packages over on the little thing but um 17 full-size HelloFresh packages. Like I said, HelloFresh got that money because they got the warehouse that they just bought. Uh, I say that was about, they bought that warehouse a year and a half ago. Yeah, because I was doing little assignments with them and stuff out of that warehouse. So that warehouse does roadie and they had their own drivers. And like I said, roadie is trash coming out of there, HelloFresh. Um, and then Axel Hire, got their own warehouse i guess this is their warehouse because they got their um their logo right on the door so i guess that is their uh warehouse um the guy said it's called axel four hires but they say axel hire of app um one thing i didn't like two things i didn't like the app on the android was super clunky super clunky i had to foreclose it like twice they even had my route pop up um i swapped it over to the iphone I don't know if it's gonna be clunky yet. I just swapped it over there because another reason um, the Android was trying to pull Waze for my GPS. I don't even use Waze, 
Uh, if I do have Waze downloaded on this uh, phone, I might have to delete it later on, but I hate Waze. It's too cartoony, too much going on. I like clean, smooth apps, guys, like Google Maps. So I did swap it over to my iPhone. But like I said, I had to foreclose it twice to even figure out how to, you know, uh, start scanning my route. Um, Metro Bad just sent me something too. Oops, sorry. Um, as y'all see, I don't know if y'all can tell the background. People that usually order HelloFresh even live in nice apartments or nice houses, Culver Sacks. We in Upper Marlboro. Um, secondary, I'm going everywhere with this, but let me hurry up because I'm going to my first stop. Second thing I don't like is I ran into this guy. He said he was supposed to have a route going to Upper Marlboro, which is this, this probably is his route. My route was supposed to go to Fort Washington, Morningside, where I could end off closer to my Walmart around 2, 3 o'clock so I could get some Walmart spark, but that's not going to work. Um, but they sent me to Upper Marlboro, and they sent him to Alexandria. Now, if I had a route going to Alexandria or downtown D.C., I wouldn't have took the route, guys, especially paying this 55 to $90. You really don't know how much you're getting paid to after you scan out. Um, and then it's supposed to be a $15 bonus extra up on here. I wouldn't have took the order, though. It's just not worth it to me. Um, I do know how to work in Virginia a little bit like Alexandria and a little bit of Arlington, but, you know, you got to deal with them apartments and um, I'm not a master of that market like I am on this side of town. Upper Marlboro, I know how to go. I know where to go Upper Marlboro, Fort Washington, D, uh, Southeast D.C. Also downtown D.C., but downtown D.C. is just a, a, a cluster of just, of, um, of, of just craziness, guys. So I just try to leave that alone, and then I feel as though it's not worth it to go down downtown D.C. for $60, $90, to be honest with you guys. Um, unless you got like two stops, three stops, <laughs> something of the sort. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have took it. It would have had to pay a lot of money for me to take a route like that, especially one I seen the other day where it was like 40 stops. I will say this, Axel Hire does have their routes on lock because they show you the pinpoints. Not like Viho, where they just show you a heat map of where the area you go be in. Axel Hire actually show you like pinpoints, boop, 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 where you actually gonna go at uh, on some of the routes that I have seen. So, we at our first stop. Let me drop this off, and I'll talk to you after the my route. One box left. We are hour and 39 minutes into this route. I did take a 15 minute stop and that wasn't on purpose. I just went to McDonald's to use the bathroom. And I was like, hold up, let me give you something to eat because I ain't getting nothing to eat today. So I placed my order on that little kiosk and I looked up and I noticed it was busy because I was number nine on the screen to get served. So uh, got stuck in there for about 15 minutes. And I believe that we could have saved the extra 15 minutes at the warehouse uh, if I knew what I was doing. Um, so all together, if you want to count the warehouse, if you want to count going to the warehouse, loading up and everything, let's call it two hours and 30 minutes. But I believe, truly believe I could have saved 30 minutes if I knew what I was doing at the warehouse and didn't make that McDonald's stop. Um, this route been straight houses, guys. The routing is top tier. It's top tier on this app, guys. Um, VO is pretty clutch too with the routing, but I'm putting this a step above VO because you already get your boxes numbered. You don't have to number the boxes yourself. You already get your boxes numbered, people. So I'm already at this drop off. I'm about to do this last stop and we're gonna go over what I made. All right, people, let's talk these numbers. So right now my balance is $76.37. One deduction out, guys, and that comes from occupational accident insurance. So I guess if I get hurt out here, and get bit by a dog, hopefully, knock on wood, imaginary wood, that I, I don't get bit by a dog one day, but looks like I'm covered because they deducting. So that means I should be covered. 
Okay, so that was 17 stops. Altogether, we got paid $78.50, but they deducted that $2, so it's 60 I'm mean, excuse me, seventy-six dollars and thirty-seven cent, and they do have an early payout feature. Early payouts exceeding seventy-five dollars and submitted before ten thirty a.m. Pacific will be processed within the same day. Early, other early payouts will be processed in one to three business days. We do not access early payout fees on your tip so i guess you can get tipped on here so like i said my total balance is 76 dollars 37 cent if i would cash out right now um i probably would have to wait till tomorrow well my card pulls early anyway it pulls payments early the card that i have um but it looked like i will only get 69 dollars and 30 excuse me 69 dollars and 43 cent back Oof, that's tragic that's 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 kind of that's a high fee right there what would i give what would i give axel higher on a scale one to five i want to give it a four guys i know it's hard to get a route on here but we can say the same thing with amazon flex and vo uh i don't know about amazon flex nowadays but when i was working there it was a lot of bots and on the system and as soon as something pop up it's gone uh, you didn't even get a time to really look at stuff um same thing with vho as soon as that seven o'clock drop hit you ain't got time to look at nothing you could you could see where you going at where it might say um alexandria to arlington but that's it that's the only information you gonna get to look at because once those routes drop they drop and they are gone and i do understand people out here you know trying to make some money so it is what it is on that uh so i won't rate um axel high off of uh route availability because no app right now that does freight even walmart spark guys like if you don't get an offer personally and it's an offer that pops up, especially in D.C. right now. It has bots. D.C. is flooded with bots right now. I know people. some people don't believe in the bots, but bots are real. i actually seen one in action before. Um, only reason I don't have one is because I want to keep my accounts. I don't want to lose no more accounts, guys. And I didn't lose. I'm not. If you've been watching the channel, you guys know I didn't lose no accounts off no bots. I'm talking about doordash and my lift account off a of false claim and stuff but um like i still got instacart stuff like that uh but i just i, I don't want to lose no more apps and i don't want to get caught up in that that bot thing especially now that spark is ramping up um its security features and stuff i don't want to get caught up in it i'd rather you know just roll the dice and take my chances and pull up at the walmart hopefully they send me something good you know keep my metrics up with that um but i'm satisfied with the pay guys i'm satisfied with the pay uh all together if i knew what i was doing if i ain't make that mcdonald's stop we would have been done this i'm talking about picking up at the red warehouse and dropping off two hours flat so that's all i got for y'all guys like i said on a scale of one to five, I'm giving it a four, Axel Higher. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. More videos will be dropping, guys. We still are on the challenge. It is October 6th. I don't know if I get y'all the date, the beginning of this video, but it is October 6th, and we started the challenge September the 11th. So I won't be updating y'all on this video. This is just strictly an Axel Higher video. But the next video, you yeah, guys, will be getting an update on where we at.